Saab Just 39, Gripen, an in-depth analysis of the fighter aircraft shaping nation's strategic freedom. Hello and welcome. In this presentation, we will examine one of the most interesting, effective, and strategic fighter aircraft in modern military aviation history, the Saab JAS-39 Gripen. Through the lens of a defense industry researcher, we will analyze not only the technical specifications of this Swedish-made fighter, but also how it has shaped a nation's defense doctrine and its role in the global balance of power. So, without further ado, let's begin the story of the Gripen. Part 1. A Strategic Answer Born from the Cold War During the most tense periods of the Cold War, Sweden faced an existential threat, the Soviet Union. Given its geographical location, which placed it on the potential front line of an invasion, Sweden had to think beyond traditional defense concepts. While major powers were developing heavy, complex, and expensive aircraft like the F-15s and MiG-29s, Sweden's answer was different. The fundamental question was, if your conventional air bases are destroyed in the first salvo, how does your air force survive and continue to fight? It was from this question that the soul of the JAS-39 Gripen was born. The Swedish Air Force's BAS-90, or Warfare Base 90 doctrine, required aircraft to operate from dispersed small bases, and even prepared highway sections and forest roads. This dictated the aircraft's design from the very beginning. It had to be light, agile, incredibly robust, and rearmed and refueled quickly by a small ground crew. The Gripen carried the legacy of its predecessors. The legendary Saab 35 Draken and Saab 37 Viggen, but was designed to take them a step further. The JAS prefix in its name stands for the Swedish words jakt, fighter, attack, ground attack, and spanning reconnaissance. This is the clearest statement that the Gripen is a multi-role platform capable of performing all three of these core missions in a single sortie. This was not just a feature, it was a necessity, a force multiplier for an air force with a limited number of aircraft. Part two, an engineering marvel, design, configuration, and propulsion. The Gripen's physical appearance reveals its character. The aircraft features a canard delta configuration, consisting of a delta wing and small four planes called canards. This design provides an aerodynamic advantage. But there is a critical point here. The Gripen is inherently unstable, meaning it is extremely difficult or impossible to fly without its flight computer. Why is this an advantage? Because instability means extreme agility. The aircraft is programmed to respond instantly and sharply to the pilot's commands. The quadruplex redundant fly-by-wire system takes the pilot's every input, makes thousands of calculations per second, and moves the control surfaces perfectly to execute the desired maneuver. This allows the pilot to safely approach the limits of the aircraft's flight envelope, performing sharp turns even at high angles of attack without losing control. Looking at its propulsion, the first generation Gripen AB models used the Volvo RM12 engine, a licensed and Swedish adapted version of the General Electric F404 engine. This engine provided around 80 k in thrust, sufficient for the aircraft to exceed Mach 2. The engine choice was also a strategic decision, reliable, relatively easy to maintain, and powerful enough for short runway takeoffs. But as technology advanced, so did the Gripen. The new generation Gripen EF model is based on the General Electric F414 engine. This is the same highly reliable and powerful engine used in the FA-18EF Super Hornet. The F440G model adapted for the Gripen E provides approximately 98 kN of thrust, significantly enhancing the aircraft's performance, particularly its supercruise capability. The ability to reach supersonic speeds without using the fuel-guzzling afterburner. More thrust also means a greater payload and fuel capacity. Part 3. The Eyes and Ears Advanced Sensor and Avionics Suite in a modern fighter aircraft, the sensors it carries and the software that processes the data from them are as critical as the airframe itself. The Gripen demonstrates first-class capability in this area as well. The Gripen CD model was equipped with the PS05A mechanically scanned array radar, a joint British-Swedish project. For its time, this was a highly capable radar, a powerful sensor with multiple target tracking and pulse Doppler modes. However, with the new generation Gripen EF, a revolutionary step was taken the Active Electronically Scanned Array Radar, or ASA. A traditional radar directs electromagnetic waves in a single direction using a physically rotating antenna. An AESA radar, however, consists of hundreds of small fixed transmit or receive modules. These modules can electronically steer signals in different directions at near the speed of light, using different frequencies simultaneously. The advantages are tremendous. Multiple target tracking. An AESA radar can scan, track, and prioritize dozens, even hundreds, of targets simultaneously low probability of intercept. Its signals are much harder to detect than those of traditional radars and can appear as noise. Simultaneous missions 
The radar can track long-range enemy aircraft, while simultaneously monitoring moving ground targets or ships at sea, electronic warfare. The same system can be used as a powerful electronic attack tool. In addition to the ESA radar, the Grapen EF features an infrared search and track system integrated into the forward fuselage. This system passively detects the heat signatures of enemy aircraft from their engines and skin friction without using radar. This is the ability to see the enemy with your eyes closed. Unlike radar, when IRST is used, the enemy cannot tell they are being tracked. This is critical for the element of surprise and survivability. Part 4. The Warrior in the Network. Network-centric warfare. Thinking of the Gripen merely as an aircraft is to misunderstand it. The Gripen is a flying node in a network-centric warfare system. This is its greatest strength. The aircraft is equipped with secure, high-speed, and jam-resistant data links such as Link 16, Terrace, and other Sweden-specific data links. What does this mean? A Gripen pilot does not see the battlefield only through the narrow window of his own radar and sensors. The display in his cockpit shows real-time data from other Gripens, AWACS aircraft, ground-based radars, and even naval units. A pilot can lock onto and destroy an enemy aircraft he hasn't yet seen himself, using data from another unit, and fire a meteor missile. This capability allows Gripen fleets to employ swarm or pack tactics. Despite not being a low, observable, stealth aircraft, this network-centric capability multiplies its chances of survival. The enemy has to fight not a single aircraft, but a perfectly synchronized fleet acting as a single entity. Part 5. Teeth and Claws, Weapon Systems and Lethality How deadly a predator is matters as much as how smart and agile it is. The Gripen is equipped with 10 hardpoints and can carry up to 5 200 T-Logs of various munitions, air-to-air -air capabilities. Here, the Gripen's biggest asset is the MBDA Meteor Missile. Thanks to its ramjet engine, the Meteor has an effective range far beyond that of other air-to-air -air missiles. It massively expands the No Escape Zone, the area where an enemy aircraft cannot evade even with maneuvering. The presence of the Meteor makes the Grapen a threat, on par with much heavier and more expensive fifth-generation aircraft. In addition to the Meteor, short-range infrared-guided missiles like the Iris-T or AM-9 Sidewinder and the medium-range AM-120 AMRAAM can be integrated. The internally mounted 27mm Mauser BK-27 cannon is the ultimate weapon for close dogfights or attacks on ground targets. Air-to-ground and air-to-sea capabilities, the Gripen is also a highly capable attack aircraft. It can employ precision-guided munitions, such as laser-guided bombs, GBU-12 Paveway 2, GPS-guided Joint Direct Attack Munitions, JDAM, and particularly the GBU-39 Small Diameter Bomb. The GBU-39 not only has a low circular error probability, but also allows a single Gripen to strike multiple targets in one sortie, as it can carry more than four of them simultaneously. For naval targets, it can integrate highly. Effective weapons, like the Swedish-made RBS-15 anti-ship missile, part six, the economic reality, life cycle, cost and export success. Perhaps the Gripen's sharpest advantage over its competitors is its cost of ownership. For nations with limited defense budgets, this is not a luxury, but a necessity. The Grapen's flight hour cost is approximately $4,700 USD. For comparison, an F-16's hourly cost is around $7,000, $8,000, while an F-35's is over $30,000. This difference translates to hundreds of millions of dollars over a decade of operational life. Reasons behind this low cost include rapid turnaround. The Grapen can be maintained by a ground crew of just four Tosun to five people, using tools as simple as those in an ordinary car repair shop. A combat scenario, rearming, refueling, and basic checks can be completed in an incredible 10-15 minutes. This means the ability to fly many more sorties per day. High-tech, simple logistics, it uses modular, easily replaceable components instead of systems that require complex and expensive maintenance. This economic model has made the Gripen a star in the export market. It is operated by countries including Brazil, the Czech Republic, Hungary, South Africa, and Thailand. Brazil has ordered 36 Gripen EF aircraft, becoming a partner in the aircraft's development and production. The Czech Republic and Hungary use the aircraft through a leasing model, accessing cutting-edge technology without the upfront capital cost. Part 7. Looking ahead. The Gripen's roadmap and conclusion. The Gripen EF is not the endpoint of the platform's evolution, but a starting point. Saab is continuously working on software updates, AI-assisted decision support systems, concepts like teaming with autonomous UAVs. Its open architecture, which could be described as a grip and app store, allows for the relatively easy integration of new sensors and weapons onto the existing platform. In conclusion, the Saab Jazz 39 Gripen is a phenomenon that challenges the conventional, bigger, heavier, more expensive paradigm in fighter aircraft design. It is a success story born from a nation's unique strategic needs. 
transforming those needs into a technological masterpiece and offering it to the world. The Gripen is not just an aircraft. It is a philosophy based on resilience, flexibility, intelligence, and economic realism. In the 21st century's environment of asymmetric threats and budget constraints, the strategic freedom offered by that concludes our in-depth analysis of the Saab JS-39 Gripen. Join us next time as we examine another marvel of the defense industry. Thank you for listening.